Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. It's getting close to Valentine's Day, so I've put a red face on the watch. What we're going to do in this installment of the number one D5 series of videos is take a look at some of the apps that can be installed from the Google Play Store directly onto this watch. Ones I've found that work well and um, just show you. I, this is the completion of what I played with all weekend long. I tried a bunch of them. Some of them didn't work and I took them off and uh, then other ones did work I left on. So I'm going to show you the ones that I've found that work pretty well that give you a kind of a diverse portfolio of apps to play with. Again, these top ones we've talked about before and we'll go over those probably in more detail uh, because they're the stock applications that are built into it. It goes all the way down to and including the file manager, which is really important for uh, doing some of the manipulation with the files. The very first app that I install is called MobyZen. I've talked about that in other uh, videos, and we are going to go in detail on how to get this going when we do the next video, which is going to be after I wipe out the watch completely and start over from factory new. Aha! It heard my key word, then launched into Google Play. <laughs> or the Google Voice Recognition. Now it's going to try to search and do all that kind of stuff. That's one of the things you got to be careful with if you have the OK Google turned on all the time. No, no, no. We're done. However, what I've got installed, you don't have to just say, OK Google. You notice it doesn't respond to that. But it would respond if I say, wake up, watch. See? So, anyway, it's some features. Sometimes you want on, sometimes you don't. And I probably should have turned it off for the video. But I'll show you when we get to that. Okay, we are at MobyZen. Again, I'm going to show you how to install that. That's your best and most important app you will have on this device, at least when you're getting started. Breathing Zone is something that lets you, when you're driving, for example, get calm. You can set it to, uh, it'll, it'll uh, either make noise or you can just have it vibrate at an interval related to breathing. So two breaths is an inhale and one is an exhale, for example, and you just feel it on your arm and you start breathing so that your breaths end when it vibrates. And it can take you from a very rapid, say seven breaths per minute, down to maybe five or four or even three to calm you down. I really like that, and I don't even need to be looking at the watch. I can just feel it. The Note app we've covered in another video, which is an awesome way of capturing notes, just pressing or swiping up on the screen, and it'll send it off to the cloud. You can get it as an email, all that stuff. Calendar for Google Calendar. The talking clock is the one that lets you Set it so that it can say specific things. And I have it saying this when you hit listen. Time check. The time is now 8.44 a.m. And all is well. Nice, huh? And it'll do that whenever I press the button like three times or so. Again, I don't have to look at the watch to get the time. And I love that, too. Astral 3D Worlds. I'm going to just show you these eye candy apps as we go through here because I'm going to be taking most of these off to make more room for other things. Oh, it's not going to run. Okay. Try another one. Wow, where's it going? Uh... It went to the Play Store for me to download Astral 3D Music Visualizer. Okay. You see, this works just like a, a regular watch. I mean, a regular phone. Ah, it's crashing again. All right. Here's what I do when things like that happen. I, we're at the Astral World ones. I'm just going to take a moment, scroll to the bottom, hit the recent apps, and close all. And then we try to come back. Go all the way back up again. Let's try it one more time. Then we'll move on. It was working yesterday. 
But the memory is so tight right now. If, if these things need to create a cache file, there may not even be enough room to do that. Yeah. All right. If I get it working later, we'll show you. The APUS, APUS, APUS browser is really nice. It's very tiny, takes up very little space. And what's nice is you can have uh, buttons on the front page of your common website you go to. For example, when I get to weather, well, actually I passed weather up there that's built in. It doesn't work for me on this watch. So I can have a button or two that will show me weather uh, and just launch the browser. No problem. Groove IP is awesome. This gives you a phone number for your watch that you pick. And uh, it's a voice over IP uh, phoning app. But unlike most of the others that say, make free calls, and then you have to earn credits by downloading apps or giving them money, this one seems to work right out of the box. Uh, not, it literally is free. So Groove IP is a great one to install on here, and you can make and receive phone calls on this watch without being tethered to a phone as long as you're in a Wi-Fi zone. Volume control is the one uh, is the app that gives me this volume. See the numbers changing on the screen? I'm actually changing the volume if something we're playing. And this is really nice. Otherwise, getting to the volume controls, if it's not built into the app, is a real pain. I'm going to leave it up all in case it makes noises. App Cache Cleaner is really good uh, overall. You launch this, it shows you what apps are using... Uh, cache and when you have tiny little bit of space you really need this to clear out anything extra so you have every little bite to use for your other apps I installed easy voice recorder rather than using the stock sound recorder because this has a, a ability to set the decibel level that you want to boost it by so if you're trying to pick up things in a distance or contour it for sound that won't distort in music uh, you can use that, and it's great. Open Mic Plus is the one we just used to set the uh, OK Google response. Very flexible. We'll go into detail on that one, but it allows you to really uh, gain access to the, the Google environment using your voice, as long as you're in Wi-Fi. You heard that nice man's voice telling us the time. That's Nathan. Nathan text-to-speech. Takes up a lot of space. There's a Pico voice synthesizer in here, uh, both U.S. and British English female voices that are rather mm, computer sounding. This nice of a watch deserves a good voice, and I like Nathan, so he's my guy, and I put him in here. Display brightness is the slider that you see up here at the top. That's the one that gives us the control on the brightness on the screen. Now, I don't know if you can even see it. It's at minus 50%. I have negative brightness activated on here. With an AM OLED screen, uh, where every pixel eats power separately, being able to lower it that low at night is awesome. It really is. I mean, the, when you go down to the lowest setting, it's still relatively bright if your eyes are night adjusted. But if you have the slider set to go really low, and you could go minus 100%, but for me, minus 50, I can actually see it here. I don't think it's camera's even picking it up. Anyway, that's what that one does. Uh, calendar repeats itself. This is that Google Calendar again, I believe. Mood light. All right, here's an eye candy one that we'll play with. Uh, and it can give you a, a candle. So when you go to a concert, you don't need your little Bic lighter. You can just have this. There's another implementation of it that just makes uh, the screen go through hues of color. So... You're creating mood lighting, supposedly. Clean Masters, the one that I use for deleting extra files and speeding things up. Plasma Sound is another eye candy kind of an app. Notice it'll it'll uh, turn. And what's it asking for? It's 100% eye free, app free. I don't know. Let's just go into it. What's it doing? Giving me an ad? No, it's coming back to Plasma Sound. Well, we have it installed, so let's open it. Okay, after all of that, what does this do? Well, we showed you, I believe, on the S8. You can make pretty sounds and pretty 
displays. Those old days of Star, what is it, Star Trek, the original, when they'd use those kind of sounds. You can also do uh, some sort of a waveform generator. It's kind of just a fun little sound and, and visual app to play with. Non-functional. This and the others will be leaving the watch, no doubt, uh, when I put more valuable things on here. Uh, Visualizer 5000 we were playing with to begin with. You just say visualize after you set it up. And it is sound sensitive. Hello. You see, it'll respond to my sound. It has several different patterns. You can turn them on and off. You can do all those kind of things. But wow, talk about fun. This one I like. I think I just might, if I keep it, just set it to do that one. It keeps crashing on me, though. Ah, oh, well, such is the nature of the watch. We are really stepping back to, like, uh, the beginning platform. Um, oh, look at that. We're really messed up. See, we've got the clock and the app going. This is not your flagship phone, folks. This is a very beginning thing. Uh, Alpine Quest is my replacement here for Google Maps. I was having a bit of trouble with Maps launching, uh, loading. And Alpine Quest is highly recommended because it gives you your Google Maps like you normally have. Are we at full brightness? Let's bring you up. You can zoom up and down and in and out. And as you are moving through life, it's monitoring the GPS. Yes, this has GPS built into it. And if you've got it Wi-Fi tethered to your phone, for example, and you're driving, it will always be pointing in the direction that you're driving. So if you see a building on the left, it's going to be on the left, not like if you're going south and it's on the other side because you've got to remember you're now going to turn west. Ah, this is uh, really nice in that it will rotate with you if you set it up that way. You can also put lots of words on the screen like your current heading and uh, the coordinates that you're at, those kind of things. Alpine Quest. Um uh, but I wanted to just show you the eye candy one. There's speed test. I'm getting huge, huge speeds. I tell you, um, what, 30, 30 plus gigabytes um, download and five upload. Nice. Speech to clipboard. Got great video clips on this. It works the same way on here as it does on those uh, other, on the S8 and the other clips that I've put out. So take a look at that. Labyrinth, you've seen me do. Ground Effect Pro is the fun one. Notice that it rotated the watch to the side. You can see what I mean. It's cut off on the edges. It's like it's supposed to be square. And there it goes. It goes away and lets me... Would you like to... Maybe is the best answer for that one. I'm just going to cruise. Let's just pick that one. And let's go. Okay. Whee! Whoa! Oh! Bang! All right, that's what that... So you can load some games on here. I don't think it's going to play Minecraft or anything, like, serious, but you can have some fun. Webcams I loaded just because this is really a fun little app just to see what's going on in the world. I like Times Square and Abbey Road. Of course, Abbey Road where the Beatles uh, infamously crossed the street and everybody wants to cross at the same crosswalk in the same way that the Beatles did. Uh, so they do that and they've got a live webcam from uh, the Apple Record Place showing you what's going on. It's nighttime in London. Again, this is a good example of the quality of this watch. The clarity. See, people crossing it right there. Now, they're not doing the fancy posing. They usually do that in the daylight. But That's a, a really nice app just to show off your watch. And if you're in a good Wi-Fi zone, it works great. Webcams. Pocket and YouTube. The last two that I've got in there right now, we all know what YouTube is. And Pocket, if you haven't discovered it yet, is really awesome. You can be in a web page or whatever, and if you want to read it later, you can save it for offline reading. And you can just save whatever articles you like. 
you can set the parameters so that when you're in it, I set it for a beige background, but you can actually do it night mode where it's white lettering on black. And um, you can make the letters really nicely large so it's easily readable. Got pictures if they needed, but it's stripped of all the ads and other things that the website originally had on it. Okay. Long articles too, and it doesn't take up much space. Now you do need to go in to the article and select it for it to download it into the watch. But once it's in the watch, you can read it offline. Oh, you can touch on a picture, I guess, and get the, the picture that are in the article. But I have no idea how to get back. Actually, if you swipe down just a little bit below where the brightness is, that's how you do the back button on, on the watch. If I swipe down again, I should be back to the articles. Up in the right-hand corner are three little buttons, and when you pull down there, there's a, a, a feature that lets you uh, have the article read to you, but you can't get access to it. Unfortunately, if I find a workaround to that, oops, they changed the brightness. Um, I'll let you know. Anyway, I'm digressing. There's Pocket and YouTube. Uh, things I don't have installed right now are the a music um, radio kind of a player. I like Django, Pandora. Uh, those all work. You could try your standard one. None of them are good at, at putting their cache uh, of the songs on the memory card instead of in the main core memory. So they give you a little bit of a fit over time by filling up your memory. So you have to use the cache cleaners to clean them out. Anyway, there you go. This is the uh, review of some of the installed apps. Like I say, in the next installment, what I'm going to be doing is stripping this whole thing down to brand new and show you, guide you how to go through and turn on the developer options how to install MobyZen, how to get it all linked to your Wi-Fi, how to check for the latest update version, and how to begin installing apps on your watch. If you can get that stuff mastered, then you can take it off in your own direction to put the apps that you want on your watch. And of course, we still have to talk about tethering this to a phone in another video that lets you get uh, your notifications and all that other stuff like a regular, like a regular tethered watch. Okay, these are getting long, but they need to be because this thing is awesome. The number one D5, got this one from Gearbest. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll be back with more.